Hello, my name is Green, and today I'm going to be transforming a vanilla desert temple into a kind of desert house slash temple thing. I'm gonna make it livable in any way. So let's get right into it. So I'm gonna start off by removing the top of the pyramid that you find at the back of a vanilla temple. And we're gonna have this flat surface to work with. I then add a few stairs at the front, just because it's quite an easy thing to do. And now I'm going to work on the frame. My preferred choice of frame block is log, and I decide to put that around the towers because I know for a fact that I'm going to keep those in it because that's one of the very iconic features of a vanilla temple, and that's one of the things I want to keep. So once I've finished placing all my log frames in the corners of my towers, I'm then going to do a little bit of detailing at the front. I must admit, I don't really have a system for transforming this temple. Uh, when I decided to make this, I didn't really think it through particularly well, so a lot of what I'm doing here is improvisation, but I'm going to try and comment over it anyway. So I'm going to work on the walls here and finish off doing my frame at the back. I decided that I want to have two stories. I'm kind of taking the Hanging Gardens of Babylon as a bit of an inspiration from this, and I'm using my desert house style for the build in general. So I'm going to be detailing the front here, adding some fence, a couple of windows, and most importantly, where there's these stained clay, I'm going to be moving them a block back so that you can detail them with a bit of depth. And that's exactly what I'm going to be doing on the first tower. That sort of Egyptian symbol is going to be set back, and then I'm going to detail the rest of it, just adding sandstone stairs, a bit of birch fence, and just making it generally look a bit nicer with a little bit of detail. Once I've done that, I then move on to creating the extended tower, the bit on the top. And I add those beams that go across the roof in true desert house style. And then I'm back to making the frames and walls again because, as usual, I'm flying around all over the place doing all different parts of the build and not focusing on one part. And I make sure that all the way around the edge I've got this sandstone step that just sort of gives the ledge of the build. And then I'm back to making beams, but this time for the main part of the building. And I do a proper cross section. These beams run all the way through the house, going in both directions, and this lays the foundation of the second floor. Once I've done that, I then hop straight back to the front of the build where I'm starting to really get into the detailing, which is a bit of a mistake because I'm getting ahead of myself. Nevertheless, I hop back again to the second floor, just finishing off my frame, and just finishing off this little bit at the back which I didn't quite get right with the beams, just extending it out that little block more, and adding that ledge again that I mentioned earlier. Once I've done that, I then decide that I probably should be doing the walls of the second floor, since I haven't touched that and I've already started detailing other parts of the build. Welcome to my mind, but there we go. Once I've done that, I'm then gonna just quickly fill in the floor between the beams with a sandstone half slab, and then I run all the way back to the first tower and just detail the sides of the walls. I've probably figured out in my mind what I want it to look like by now, and I'm gonna be detailing the rest of it. Now, you may notice that I've been mainly focusing on the left-hand side of the build. That's because I do intend on flipping it later with World Edit. But for now, I just need to finish detailing all the parts of it, adding buttons, as well as sort of faking the fact that there's texture there by adding a variety of the sandstone blocks. By adding those chiseled and smooth sandstone into the walls themselves, you kind of fake the fact that you've added detail when you haven't got any depth. It's an interesting technique, and it doesn't really work on its own, but with a mixture of depth and integrating those different kinds of blocks, it really works. So now I'm going to do a bit of detailing all over the place, as usual. I'll do a little bit on the second floor before going over to the other tower, and start detailing a bit there, just copy-pasting exactly what I did on the front. And then I go all the way to the back, again focusing on the left-hand side of this build, doing the walls, adding holes, windows, detailing with different variety of sandstone blocks, adding some buttons here and there, and then once I've done that, I actually want to add a different colour just to give a bit of contrast to the tower. Now, I realise that I'm almost complete on this left-hand side and I'm nearly ready to copy-paste, so I need to go to the back of the build and finish detailing that. I actually sort of try to create a slope with the pyramid, and I add a few pillars here and there and finish detailing the back. Now once I've done that, the detailing is completely done for that side. I need to copy that region, flip it over, and paste it to the other side, and then I'll be ready to detail the rest of the build. If you don't have access to WorldEdit, or don't know how to use it, 
no problem, you can just build exactly what you did on one side, on the other side, it's just going to take a little bit longer. I'm then going to add a pergola, and if you watched my desert house tutorial, I love a good pergola. So I add that to the front of the build, adding the fences between the beams. And we're actually starting to come to the end of the build now. Again, I'm not going to be doing any interior, that's up to you. So I just finished detailing here and there where I may have missed a bit, adding the roof on the second floor, and again adding more sandstone block variety. And once I've done that, I'm then going to take a bunch of leaves and add them all over the build to make it look like it's vines. But at the same time, I'm going to actually take the vine block itself and add that for a little bit of variety. It actually covers over two biomes, so you'll see two different colours of green, which was a bit unintentional, but it added a nice little touch to it. I'm then going to skip back over to the front of the build and add a bit of greenery, adding some potted tulips and some tulips up on some grass blocks just to make it look like someone actually lives there and it's not an abandoned house in the middle of the desert. Once that's done, I consider this finished. Or, you know, as finished as it's going to get without interior. And again, I want you to take home the essence, the technique and what it should look like. I don't want you to copy me block for block, I'm just teaching you the technique. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this kind of video, let me know. And if you have any more suggestions of what you'd like me to build, please leave a comment below. I do take suggestions very seriously. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.